Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and now we're going to work at finding the mean, median, range, and mode using charts and graphs. You're going to need your notes for this, so go ahead and get those out. Nick wrote down how many spelling words he practiced each day. What is the mean number of spelling words Nick practiced daily? Well, the first thing I would do on this bar graph is I would go ahead and write the values at the top of each one of them so it's a little bit easier to see. The next thing is to find the mean, you have to find the sum of all of the numbers, so I would add them up. The sum of these numbers is 280. And then to find the mean, you take the sum and you divide it by how many numbers you add it up. And there are one, two, three, four, five, so there's seven different bars. So it would be 280 divided by 7 would be 40. The mean of this data set is 40. Charlotte's classmates revealed how many science articles they read. What is the median number of articles read? Again, the first thing I would do is write the values at the top of each one of these bars. To find the median, you take the numbers and you put them in order from least to greatest. These are the numbers from above put in order from least to greatest. The next thing you do to find the median is you find the number in the middle. And in this case, there's only one number in the middle and that's 70. The median of this set of data is 70. Look at this line plot. What is the range of the numbers? Well, you would take the biggest number and you would subtract out the smallest number. So the range of this number, this uh, line plot would be six. What is the mode of this set of numbers? You can see that three is listed the most often. So three is the mode. What is the median of the numbers? Well, you pull them off, zero, there's three ones. I can see that there's two twos, four threes, five, uh, three fives, and two sixes. Put those in order from least to greatest. They're already in order on this line plot. And the median is the number that's in the middle. There's only one number in the middle, and that's three. Joe's class tracked how many newspapers each student collected for their recycling project. What is the median of the numbers? Well, first let's find out how many Jorge has collected and Anne and Ruben and Yoko. And I write that number here at the side. And remember to find the median, you put the numbers in order from least to greatest. And the median is the number in the middle. If there's only one number in the middle, that's it. If there's two, you add those two numbers together and divide it by two. Elena graphed the daily high temperatures for seven days. What is the range of the numbers? I would put the value above each point. So this point is 90, this point is 60, 80, 80, as you can see. And the range is taking the largest number and subtracting the smallest. The largest number is 90. The smallest number on this graph is 50. So 90 minus 50 is 40. Good job.